Martin Espinoza. Um, I got a, I got a better uh, a view of this. I believe that's up near Sugarloaf. That's what everybody's worried about up there. The northernmost part of it is that way, but then the, what looks like the closest is just right over here, where you see that bird flying beyond there. That's what I was saw. That's what I was seeing last night, burning flames. This is Highway Twelve. Um, back, back behind me is, uh, or to my left, behind me is, is, is Skyhawk. Um, what is it? It's almost nine o'clock. I've, I've been up since, uh, since 4.48, or a little, probably a little bit after that, maybe five o'clock. Was it? God, I could have sworn I was up earlier uh, when the Nixle came out issuing and uh, ordering a mandatory evacuation for the area of Highway 12 from Adobe Canyon to Calistoga Road. And so the northernmost part of that would be my neighborhood. Um, I live in Piedmont Heights, just east of Calistoga Road, over near Maria Carrillo. And that was, uh, that's, this is what triggered that evacuation. I'm gonna pan here so you can see. There's the fire. And then as you get over here, you, you get into Skyhawk, out that way. And then Rincon Valley that way and Santa Rosa is that way. Out that way. Oakmont is over to the, to the right, a ways. Um, all of this, this entire area has been evacuated from Adobe Canyon. There's a helicopter coming. I don't know if you can see that from the glare of the sun. It's hard for me to see. Everybody's, pretty much everybody from these neighborhoods has been evacuated. <clears throat> Earlier, we had police officers from all over the Bay Area going door to door, going down. Oh, there's a plane up there. There's a plane. Let's see what it's going to do. Yeah, it's turning. Let's see how close that thing gets. We're hoping that. So I, I don't know if you guys can see that plane up there. Making a turn. I'm hoping he's going to come right over that thing. Or maybe he's just surveying. And I hear another plane behind me coming. That plane is still pretty high. There's another plane right above me. That plane is circling the fire. And the other one is, is coming close. What's he doing? Hard to see with the glare. I don't know if you guys can even see that. It looks like the plane is getting lower in a circular motion. Uh, 
try not to look at the sun here. That plane is still pretty high. I don't know what he would be doing up there. That's a helicopter over here to the right. They've just been flying in and out of this area for a while now. Ever since the sun came up. Or ever since the uh, first daylight. I wonder if it's getting in position to drop something. Got a few planes up. There's two of them up there. I don't know what their run would be, which which direction they would fly to, to drop anything. Okay, so one of them's coming back. I can still see the plane is coming right over the... Oh, wow. I don't, I didn't see, I didn't, I don't know if I saw him drop anything. I don't know if I saw that plane drop anything. Now I, I see three planes up in the sky. One is really far off that way. I can only imagine what they're... They must be dropping something. That one got pretty. That one was on this side of that 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 uh, that peak there. It looked unless my eyes were playing tricks on me, which they may because I'm, I'm starting to see spots because of the sun here. Here it comes again, that one right there. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He's dropping some. He's dropping fire retardant. You saw it. Yeah. That's, that's it. Way to go. So, yeah. That was beautiful. Let's see if the other one does the same thing. How many passes they can make? Looks like his looks like that one is flying out of the area now. Oh, that was beautiful. Here, yeah, that that one right there, that one just dropped. And you know they got to make that count. All right, there's a couple other ones up there. Maybe the next one. Oh, look at that. Right where they dropped. Looks like it had an effect. What you got? Yeah, that plane made a couple of passes um, before it dropped. It made a couple of passes. There's another one up there.
There's two planes up there right now. So, you know, somebody, could somebody tell me what the, what peak that is? Is that Sugarloaf? Anybody? Somebody's saying that mom lives in Rincon Valley at Highway 12 and Mission Boulevard. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that, that area is, I don't know, I don't think that area is under a mandatory evacuation. Um, I'm out here on Highway 12 near Skyhawk. And, uh, and so I'm, I'm east of that, that point. And Skyhawk is, is, I mean, that fires way up there. It's not, not near, uh, not near Skyhawk or Lincoln Valley. But yes, those areas have been evacuated. And, uh, as you can see, that, that, that fire, they're trying to keep that fire from coming this way. That's what they're doing. They're trying to keep it from going that way into the mountain. But the part that's closer is right over here. So I'd like to see somebody drop something on that part. And I'm sure that, you know, down closer to the base of, the, of that mountain, you've got a lot of firefighters holding that line. Making sure it doesn't come into this more densely populated area. There you can see the fire. Oh, there's another plane just dropped something. See that? That's beautiful. <sighs> From way over here, it just, it looks so graceful. He just drops one load and then they're, then they, then they, then they head out. And here he comes this way. The plane's just coming over us. That one just dropped, just dropped a load. trying to keep it from going up that mountain. Let's see if we can see some more planes coming. I think I, see, I hear another plane coming. Yep, there comes another plane. Over to my uh, over to my to my left here. Oh shoot. Can you see that? Eyes are just shot now. Okay. That was it. Helicopters must be working the uh, the lower part of the fire. I see a lot of help. Again, the helicopters must be working the lower part of the fire. They're flying directly into the smoke. Maybe not. I mean, that smoke is, looks like it's pretty far out. I, you could tell if they're flying into it. There's an airplane that's going to make another pass. I just see it over that... Uh, that that, uh, see it over there? Montgomery has been evacuated on the Melita side. I heard it on the scanner. Taylor Mountain. It looks like it's moving towards you. Hood Mountain. <sighs> no, I mean I'm 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 over here on Skyhawk, and that's uh. 
you know, I, I, it looks like it's, uh, I'm a safe distance, all right? I wouldn't, I wouldn't get near that thing. And this is Highway 12, I mean, I, you know, that's, uh, I'll be all right. I'm just watching these planes here drop fire retardant. I see a couple of planes in the sky right now. I've just seen uh, about three, 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 and they've got helicopters over here in the lower end of it, and the planes are up, up higher. And here comes another plane here. Over that way and then there's another one way up there and they just circle they make a couple of passes three planes I count three planes just circling the area is that four or is that a bird <laughs> one two three four four planes no 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 That has to be a plane. All right, which one's gonna, which one's gonna go first? God, I wonder how how far down that fire is. That's a big one right there. Here comes one. We got a plane that's gonna. This is the this is the next one right there. It looks like it's beyond that ridge, but watch, watch when it comes. It's gonna cut right in front of that mountain. And now it's headed our way. See that? And then it's gonna drop. It's gonna drop. Where's it going? They got helicopters right there. That plane didn't drop anything. Helicopters right over there were that lower area on this side of the this little ridge. The helicopter that, that plane's making another turn. That's a big one over there. I don't know if you guys can see that from the glare in the sun. This is an active firefight right now with planes in the sky and helicopters. And I'm sure that there's uh, firefighters up in there as well. I wish I could give you guys better geography. I don't know if I'm looking at Hood or, or, or Sugarloaf. That's east of Santa Rosa. This is Highway 12 in front of me. with uh, law enforcement going through the neighborhood. Still, I, I'd imagine they're still making sure that everybody's out. But the evacuation, somebody just posted that they evacuated the... Uh... Oh, here comes one right here. Can you guys see that? Watch. There it goes. That one's close. There it goes. That was nice. That's right there on the edge, right there on the edge of that fire. Obviously, they're trying to keep it from coming this way, from spreading that way north on the mountain and east into these neighborhoods over here to my left and behind me. 
Calisto, uh, Skyhawk. And, and Rincon Valley. They get this under control. It looks like they'll be fighting this all day. But they've got everybody out of here safely. The evacuation order was issued earlier this morning around 4.48. At least that's when I saw it on my phone. And the evacuation was for the area of Highway 12 between Calistoga Road and Adobe Canyon. What time is it now? It's 9 o'clock. It's after 9. So now we're just seeing these planes dropping on the fire. See like maybe half a dozen drops so far. Concentrated on that area at the top there. And the helicopters look like they're working this area over here. It's just amazing to see that. All those planes up there coordinated, dropping. And I s now I can feel the wind picking up. This, I didn't feel this wind before. Uh, it looks like it's blowing east, away from Santa Rosa. As you can see down there on Highway 12, the. This, this is Highway 12 going towards Sonoma, and the wind is blowing that way, the way that the smoke is, is going. Uh, I was talking to Kent Porter, a photographer, uh, and he was telling me that uh, that's, that's the way that wind is going to be blowing. It's going to be blowing away from Santa Rosa. <sighs> but it comes and goes. Is that yeah I don't even have my mask on because it's uh, right above me is clear skies that smoke is, is is blowing into the valley away from Santa Rosa And I, 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 it's really hard for me to tell how extensive that tr that that uh, that fire is up there on that. I don't know how far it goes off that way because that's the direction that the wind is blowing and the smoke is is uh, just trailing off into the valley. And I'm here on Highway 12. I don't know what the nearest cross street is, but Skyhawk is just to the to the left of me. Orange smoke. That's the sun. Let's see what people are saying. Haven't sold it. It's live, Santa Rosa. 14. He's on Highway 12 east of Skyhawk. Thank you. I, 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 I don't get to see a lot of these comments. Here comes another plane. That's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one. And it's gonna, it's about to do its drop. There you can see it. And there you go. Yep, 
came up. That was a that was a bit. Here comes another plane. It kind of warms the heart, doesn't it? Hopefully they can hold it off. Oh, look at that! See that black smoke? Wonder what? Wonder what? All of a sudden, there's a huge plume of black smoke out there. What if he just? What if he just directly dropped on there? That was. Yeah, that was a big, big plume of black smoke, and now it's dissipating. That was by this this plane up here. Made that drop. God, it must be crazy up there. It must be crazy up there. I can only imagine those firefighters up there. Trying their hardest. Here comes another plane. for the planes what is black that's a good question what does black smoke mean that black that huge plume of black smoke came up right after that 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 uh, right after that plane made its drop it moments after that plane made its drop there was a huge plume of black smoke I mean I can only imagine that that must have that must have been right on the fire it had to be I think after covering so many fires, I would know this. Uh, the people, the person that's got all the answers is Kent Porter, a photographer. I'm gonna try to find a place to sit here. I've been standing for hours. Oh, that doesn't work. The sooner they, the higher that sun gets, then the, the better the, the picture will be, the less glare. But here comes another plane. Oh no, that's a helicopter carrying a bucket. You see that? Carrying something. They're working in tandem. Helicopters over here on this end and the planes dropping up there. It looks like it's having an impact. Well, the, uh, earlier this morning we had the evacuation in the wee hours of, uh, what is it, Saturday now. Almost a week, a week of fire. Um, that evacuation order coming over at the, just after 4 o'clock. I mean, I, I got to check my, my phone to make sure, but I, 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 I thought it came over around 4.48. Trying to find a place to sit. This is the best view I've had of this. Right up there. If I get any, if I get any closer, um, I'm not going to have this 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 height. The sun is not here.
just want to see more white smoke. This brown smoke is scary. We got another plane going to make a drop. Here comes the bulldozer. It's a bulldozer. People that I've talked to here in Rincon Valley and Skyhawk are just, just fatigued. Just, you know, a lot of people thought this last night that we were gonna not see something like this. Here comes another plane. I just love that. He's going low. He's flying very low. He did a drop just on the other side of that ridge there. I just saw the beginning of that drop. They're trying to keep that fire on that side. But on this side of the ridge, it does look like there's some, you know, like it has gotten over that ridge, but on the lower end. And they're trying to keep it from coming over the, the, the higher end of that ridge. It looks like they're, they may be succeeding. Guys, there's something else, huh? Okay, there goes the plane. Flying into the sun. There's another plane. They do a couple of passes overhead, circle around the fire, and then they come from from uh, from the north and drop that a ways. See what people are saying. Planes, such a dangerous job. Thanks for video. What's your zip code? Zip code. I'm on. I'm on Highway 12, just uh, just east of uh, Skyhawk. Skyhawk is this way. I'll, I'll show you. That's Skyhawk out that way. And then uh, the eastern part of Rincon Valley, east of Calistoga Road is that way. Then Rincon Valley is out that way. And, and this is where the fire is. I'm gonna... <sighs> it's getting hot out here. It's getting warm. I've got a sweater on. <sighs> so I've been out here since uh, since about five o'clock, five five uh, five thirty, when along with uh, my family and my three cats, we evacuated Piedmont Heights, where I live. Uh, which is part of the evacuation area on the on on the the what is it the 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 northwesternmost part most end of the uh, of the evacuation zone that evacuation zone that was issued earlier this morning was uh, in the area of highway 12 from uh, Adobe Canyon all the way to Calistoga Road and so I got up for the third time and left the house my family's safe, and I'm I'm here. I'm safe. I'm not gonna get anywhere near that. But I just wanted to, to show where the fire is. That is the fire right there. I think that's Sugarloaf. Uh, and then over here to this side is uh, is uh, um, Skyhawk. That's okay. Rincon Valley is fine. Uh, this neighborhood behind me, uh, across Highway 12 from from Skyhawk, it's fine. Um, that's where the fire is over there. So anybody wondering if, if we had to leave um, their their homes, I I I don't have any information further into uh, um, into the valley, into Sonoma Valley. 
Is this thing, this uh, entire zone all the way down to Adobe Canyon. And I'm not sure if they've changed that. And maybe somebody can tell me. But uh, that fire is in, the, is, in, is in the mountains right now. It's in those hills. And here comes another plane. Looks like it's going to make another drop. Making it pretty high. Uh, maybe it looks like it uh, decided not to drop. Unless it did and I didn't see it, but it looks like it's going to turn around again. Yeah, they've got this one. I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty confident. If I'm wrong, I'll turn the camera back on, but I think I'm gonna sign out here. Just for a little bit. If something changes, I'll come back. But that's, uh, that's what the fire looks like. I'm gonna I'm gonna check in with the newsroom to see what's going on over there, see uh, where we've got people, and if I get any news about uh, about Sonoma, I'll come back and I'll let you guys know. But from from up here, from the north, the nor northernmost part of uh, of uh, Sonoma Valley, or near the Oakmont area, Skyhawk, that fire looks like it's up there. And uh, and they're doing everything they can to stop that and to keep us from coming into town from East Santa Rosa. All right, everybody in this area has been evacuated. Um, and and again, that fire looks like it's up there, up in the up beyond those ridges, except for this little part right here. Let's just hope that here comes another plane. I'll just let you guys see that, and then we'll. That's that same plane that just just made its its run but didn't drop. Maybe it'll drop this time. And there it goes. You can see it's right in front of the white smoke. And it goes into the could be on the ridge. I, I'm sure it dropped this time. It's so low right now. I'm sure that it, it made its drop. It's, you're gonna see it come up. There you go. All right. Yeah. I'm. I'm positive that that was a drop another plane coming up here and then there's another one over there that plane there just made a drop that's good because they were dropping closer to the ridge and now it looks like they're going down further into the uh, uh, further away from the ridge dropping again their first planes were dropping at the top of the ridge almost and those planes are now going beyond the ridge, further east, making drops. So that's that seems like good news. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. Good job, guys. Okay, I'll come back. I'm just gonna check in in the newsroom. Hey, Julie. Julie, what's going on elsewhere? I'm here at, uh, I just saw Julie Johnson sign on, reporter at the Press Democrat. I'm here at the uh, Highway 12 near Skyhawk and just watching planes drop, uh, make drops over that fire right over there, that high ridge. And helicopters look like they're focused on this part over here, which is a little closer. It's on this side of that ridge. But the planes have been dropping up there for, uh, for a while now. Maybe a, oh, I got what's been about 10 drops I've seen so far. And it looks like they're it looks like that's working because earlier like I said they were making drops right at the top of that ridge 
but now when the planes come through here like this they disappear beyond that ridge and drop so hopefully they're pushing that fire back or holding it back or they make us they make a few passes above they circle around then they take their position they come in this way and they drop let's see what Julie has to say I can't see anything where is this okay again it's highway 12 Skyhawk um, I'm just east of Skyhawk or southeast of Skyhawk and I'm thinking that's I'm thinking that's uh, what Sugarloaf Signing out.